So here's the next paint correction project. It's on this Tesla 100D. This car was in an accident, so went to a body shop and they had uh, to repair several of these panels and repaint them. And the problem is orange peel and that the repainted areas do not match the factory areas. So this door shows it the best. So just look at the reflections of my shop lights in here. And if you don't know, this is what's called orange peel. Looks like the peel of an orange, right? Well, that in itself is not the end of the world. I mean, all, almost all cars have some measure of that. But this is the repainted part, and this is pretty severe. And how I'll show you is by comparison, I'll come up here to the factory area. So now see the reflection of this light? See how that's much sharper? You know, it's more defined. And Tesla's not known for having the best paint. So, but on a white car, this is acceptable. You know, this car, when we get done polishing it, look at it, I mean, it'll, it will shine. But for stark comparison, let's just follow this line as I go down the door and watch as it just gets pebblier and pebblier. See down here now? I mean, you, that's a horrible reflection. This panel, really bad. So the challenge today will be to try to match those areas, the rear bumper coming around that fender, this door and half of this door to try to match the rest of the car. So the owner can be proud and not always have to explain, well, how come half your car's not very shiny? All right, so update on this paint correction job about halfway through. I've already done this lower part and I'll show you the result of that later when I can get back in the lights. But doing this upper portion right now, of course masking off the chrome components because we don't want to be sanding on those. But you can see this area I haven't sanded and then right here is where I have. So this is what it looks like once we've sanded on it. See how it's really dull. Now the challenge here, and we will go clear back here, the challenge here is I am not tasked with removing all the orange peel. I am tasked with trying to get this orange peel to match the factory orange peel. So see this factory still has some. So it, it's difficult because this is not what I want to do. I prefer to remove it completely and just make it as perfect as possible. But then the car would not look good. <laughs> you know, and then you'd have an area that's perfect and then the other, the rest of the car not. And the customer's not paying to have us do the entire car. You know, that would be the best case scenario is to just sand the entire car, remove all the orange peel and just perfect it as much as possible. That was just too much money for this client, which is fine. So we'll match this the best we can and uh, make it look good. All right, this is the finished product. We're done. So I'll do a drive by here. So remember, this is the factory area. We're looking at the lights to see the texture. And then right about here's where we started sanding to try to match it. It's a pretty close match. And this is under the high intensity shop lights that we have. But yeah, you can see this texture is nowhere near as tight and sharp and pebbly. There's actually some reflection now. And here's our outside finished product. So that orange peel is impossible to see in direct sun on a light colored car like this. But how you would notice is just the difference in shine and reflection. I mean, see this reflection from the chrome off there. You can actually see it. So of course we're thrilled with the outcome as always. And I can't wait to deliver back to the customer and see the look on their face. <laughs>